Hi, I'm Dr. Shishira. I'm a dermatologist practicing at Evalier Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery, Hyderabad. Pimples, pimples, pimples. Who doesn't have pimples? Everybody, including men and women, must have gone through this pimple condition in your lifetime. So, are you a person who is looking into mirror almost every day looking for new acne pop-outs? Are you a person who unconsciously while doing some other work keep on touching your pimple? Well, don't do that. Today, I am here to give you a simple and basic information about acne, what to do and what not to do. The truth all you know is, acne is most common in the teenage age group, say from 15 to 25. But do you know, it can occur right from the newborn baby till the older age group? Yes. So, acne can come in a newly born baby, which we dermatologists call as neonatal acne. If it comes in the toddler age group, we call it as infantile acne. Before the puberty, prepubertal acne. During the classic teenage, it's the teenage acne. Even in the older age group, say after 40 years, we call it as adult acne. So, acne can occur right from the lower age group to the higher age group. So, before I list out the causes of the acne, let me put it in a simple terms from which level of the skin these acnes are popping out. So basically, all our facial skin has something called hair follicles. To attach to the hair follicles, there is pouch like structure which we call it as sebaceous glands. What is the function of sebaceous glands? They produce sebum. That is when we get more sebum production, more oiliness, less sebum production, dry skin. So, it is this sebaceous glands which forms the sebum and through the hair follicle comes out of the skin surface. What happens in patients who are having lot of acne? It is this sebaceous glands which becomes overactive. So, they start producing more and more sebum. But this sebum cannot come outside. The exit to the sebum is blocked. So, what happens? Excess of sebum starts collecting within the pouch. So, it's just like a balloon keep expanding. So, it keeps expanding. So, that is when a bacteria called Propionibacterium acne attacks this sebaceous glands. That is when the whole infection starts. So, this is how actually the infection acne starts in your skin. What are the causes of acne? There are multiple. We call it as multifactorial. Right from genetic. So, acne can run in families. Second, your food habits. Usually, we give it a quote say, your acne condition says about your food habits. Thirdly, stress. More the stress, more the acne pop-outs. Fourth and the most important is your hormonal fluctuations. Fifth, the cosmetics which you are using, right from foundation, your powders, your concealers. The cosmetics is also a major contribution for your acne. Sixth one is home remedies. I see lot of patients who are using tomato, then garlic, lemon, lot of toothpaste on the acne lesions and all of them making into a paste and applying it like a home remedy package don't do that please because this is also one of the most common cause for your acne pop-outs seven parlor procedures lot of them who are getting facials and parlors god knows what the exfoliators they are using they definitely might be the reason for your acne and eighth reason would be drugs Certain tablets which you are taking for many reasons can itself cause acne eruptions. So, these are the most common causes one can get acne. Now, you understood the causes. You all know, few of them might have only red kind of acnes. Few of you might have something called blackheads, whiteheads along with the red kind of acne. This we call it as grading of acne. We dermatologists follow a different kind of grades of acne. To put it in a simple terms, it will be inflammatory acne and non-inflammatory acne. What is non-inflammatory acne? Where there is no infection. In simple terms, you can take it as blackheads and whiteheads. Inflammatory acne is something which has infection. As I already mentioned, it's a bacterial infection. Where you get more of a red colored acne, sometimes it can be yellow colored acne and those who have a habit of popping out can see that pus coming out. So that could be inflammatory acne. Do you all know there is something called acne face map i'll tell you what it is based on what regions of your face the acnes are coming you can predict what could be the possible cause let me tell you one by one first is when you are having acne eruptions over your frontal hairline that is your hairline the most common cause could be your hair care products and dandruff 
if your acne is most common in the T zone that is your forehead nose as well as your cheek zone the most common causes could be your dietary habits unhygienic practices stress levels and pubertal acne say suppose you have lot of acne in your U zone that is on your jawline most common cause would be hormonal cause it is seen in patients with thyroid disorders as well as PCOS and adult acne this is called acne face mapping so now you know the causes you know from which level of the skin the acne is are popping out and you also know what would be the most important most common causes for the acne what are the do's and don'ts of the acne care let me start with the do's consult your dermatologist because acne can occur in different forms for a different skin type and all of them require a different set of treatment so consult your dermatologist and follow the instructions your dermatologist has given religiously never forget moisturizer never forget spf above 30 third have a healthy balanced diet check on my previous video what diet can cause acne and what is safer for acne fourth have a good hydration per day 2 to 3 liters of water is a must fifth use a non comedogenic makeup products sixth never forget to remove your makeup before sleep and lastly have a good 6 to 7 hours of sleep what are the don'ts don't self medicate yourself don't fall for the social influences only a dermatologist can treat your acne in a good way and heal your acne never pick your acne no scrubbing no rubbing no scratching and no popping your acne fourth don't use any home care products and lastly no parlor procedures for acne acne is treatable curable preventable if you are a person who is suffering from acne book your appointment with a dermatologist today thank you